50 years ago, the era of open tennis began, setting forth professional tennis as we know it today. These are the stories that have defined the open era. Billie Jean King is known all over the world as an activist. All I knew is that I didn't feel tennis was right. We are a part of women's living. Front and center for such breakthrough moments as the start of the Virginia Slim circuit in 1970, the creation of the WTA in 1973, and later that year, her eternally compelling Battle of the Sexes victory over Bobby Riggs. In large part, Billie Jean King was arguably tennis's boldest rebel. But King's long-standing belief was that the best changes come from those who most understand and appreciate tradition. Nowhere did King demonstrate her reverence for tennis more vividly than the All English Lawn Tennis Club, the venue known to the world as Wimbledon. 1968 marked the first open Wimbledon. Pros and amateurs joined in competition together for the first time. That year, Billie Jean King was trying to win the singles titles for the third straight year. In the finals, she took on a tough Aussie, Judy Dalton. In two tight sets, 9-7 and 7-5, King had earned the three-peat. She would go on to win the singles three more times in 72, 73, and 75. At the end of 78, I ran into Martina, and she said, let's play Wimbledon next year, you know, and get your 20th. I wanted Billy to win the title and make history. Paired with Martina Navratilova, That's it. She's got it. King would win her record 20th Wimbledon title, an all-time mark she continues to share with Martina. Beyond Wimbledon, King won an additional 19 majors, including a career slam in singles, her achievements have been recognized on the world's biggest stages. In 2006, the USTA added her name to the home of the US Open and the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Billie Jean King, a supreme champion, both inside and outside the lines.